So now that we have some of the uh, basic processes nailed down, so expanding brackets and factorising, we can start to look at what we can do with uh, the quadratic equation, what the quadratic looks like, the parabola. Okay? So if we look at y equals x squared, just to start off with, then the curve looks something like this. Okay? This is what I would call, um, what everyone would call, a sketch. Okay? This is a sketch in the sense that I have not plotted any points. Okay, but this tells you exactly what the, well, not exactly, but effectively what the curve would look like, okay, and would look similar to. So this is y equals x squared. It has this line of symmetry for the y-axis, okay, and it also has this minimum point, okay, here. This is referred to, the minimum point of a parabola is known as the vertex, okay, or I guess the maximum point, if the curve is going up that way, then this point here, the highest point, is also known as the vertex. Okay. Now, if um, you move this curve, so effectively I pick it up and move it to so somewhere else. So let's say um, I move it right here. Okay, where the vertex is now moved there. So let's say I move the vertex so that the curve is going through, um, let's say, 3, 4. Then, um, what I've actually done is, instead of with us saying move, it's known as a translation. Okay, it is one of the uh, transformations that you will become more uh, used to using when you get to core two, okay? And you will meet also stretches and reflections. But in core one, you do need to know about a translation on how you work with that. So if I pick up this uh, quadratic and I move it, so the vertex is now at three, four, the equation subsequently changes. It is no longer y equals x squared for this blue curve. The way that you do it is that you think of this as a vector, okay? So that it, is, it is a translation by the vector, and it's gone three along, four up, so three, four, okay? And what you do is you replace the x in the equation with x minus 3, and replace the y with y minus 4, okay? So if this had been uh, minus 3, you'd replace the x with x plus 3. So you always do the opposite sign, use the opposite sign. So we're going to replace the x in this equation with x minus 3, and we're going to replace the y with y minus 4. So we get y minus 4, so I've replaced the y with y minus 4, and the x is now replaced with x minus 3. Okay? And now, what you can do is you can rearrange that to get y equals, so y is equal to x minus 3 squared, add 4 to both sides, and we get it like that. Okay? So this is the equation for the blue curve. And it has gone through this process. And it's all about knowing where that vertex has moved to. It's gone from 0, 0, right at the origin, to now 3, 4. So it's gone from 0, 0 to 3, 4. Okay? And you replace the x with x minus 3, x and y with y minus 4. And then you can get this equation. Okay? So... That is how you use this translation. And this is now in what we call completed square form. You will have learned at GCSE how to complete the square and get it into a format that looks like this. Okay? This is what we refer to as completed square form. Now, if I look at another example, just for uh, interest's sake, Let's start off with y equals x squared again. OK. 
Okay, there we are, y equals x squared. And then I'm going to translate it this time so that it appears down here. Okay, so we've gone from 0, 0 to down here. So let's say I've now I've done a translation <clears throat> by the vector where it's gone this way. So let's say it's minus 5, uh, minus 7. Okay, so we're now at minus 5 and minus 7. So we replace the x with x plus 5 and we replace the y with y plus 7. So replace x with x plus 5, because remember the sign always changes, and replace the y with y plus 7. So the y becomes y plus 7, and the x becomes x plus 5. Okay, so what I mean by all this replacing is that it's just in how the equation changes from y equals x squared to become this blue curve. So I can now take 7 from both sides, and this is the equation of my new curve. Okay, and that is what I need. So this is how we translate a curve, and that is how the equation changes. Okay into, and we can write it in this, uh, in this complete square form. You can also then multiply the brackets out so that uh, you get x squared, you'll get uh, 10x, and then you'll get 25, take away 7 is 18, um, like that. Okay, so you can multiply out the brackets. So the way that I've drawn that isn't quite accurate. The curve would actually be coming up more like this. Okay, and so that it is now going through 18 on the y-axis, given by that constant term at the end of the equation. Okay, so it, remember, what I'm employing here is some sketching, and we'll be looking at that in a good, lot more detail, but this is how you use translations to move the parabola around uh, the grid, around the Cartesian grid.